Are we good? I've only got 5% battery. Can we get a five-star user experience on Azure Virtual Desktop compared to something like Citrix? Well, the answer is we can get pretty close without the five-star price tag. So to build Citrix in the cloud, we normally need things like the cloud connectors. We probably need a CA server, AD servers, Citrix hosts, a load of licenses. And yes, what we can deliver five stars requires five pound signs worth of spend to achieve those levels of results. Can we get that level of experience on Azure Virtual Desktop? And now some of the improvements that have come out to it recently compared to Citrix. So one of the areas that we have a lot of costs within Citrix, of course, is you've got the RDS license, the Citrix Cal, and the Windows licensing. And of course, in AVD, you don't need some of these, and that's what we're going to next. So AVD requires certain levels of Office 365 Cal's. So mainly this is Biz Premium and M365E3 slash E5. And those will get you uh, inclusive licensing for Azure Virtual Desktop. Azure is the only place you can run Windows 10 multi-session desktops. And those desktops don't require RDS licenses. So straight away, we don't need RDS CALs. So we don't technically need Windows CALs because it's part of the price per month. Don't need Citrix CALs because it's not Citrix. And in terms of the actual then says that we need compute to actually run that. So we will need compute and you pay for this just at the market rate. You can of course reserve it. You can power it on for a set number of hours per month. And then you've also got on top of that files. So typically we will be looking at using something like Azure files for that um, to redirect that data. So we will also need Active Directory. Now you can make a decision on AD servers versus ADDS. Obviously there are different tiers of ADDS which have different price points. So you might just decide that actually running Active Directory is simply easier because you've got a pre-existing deployment that you're gonna link that to. So with AVD, we can get probably, I would say about a four star user experience. And the price point is probably at about a sort of like two and a half star because you get so much included in your Office 365 licensing. And by doing this, you can maximize the use of those licenses. Realistically, most customers who are using Citrix are probably using 60 to 70% of the actual functionality and they just don't have the demands that require Citrix because especially now that Teams is fully supported inside Azure Virtual Desktop. So in summary, this is why Azure Virtual Desktop is worth considering if you've got Citrix or perhaps only use a fraction of the Citrix functionality or you're coming up for renewal. So the big one is AVD gives us Windows 10 multi-session. It's a big one because it does away with the requirement for the cows. You can save by only using workload when you actually need it. So that is probably somewhere between 30 and 50% of spend for when those machines are actually shut down and powered off. It fully supports Teams for offload and that experience is just like being on a desktop. Currently, as of August 2022, there is no Thin Client support. So that's a little bit of a negative and that's because Microsoft hasn't released the SDK for Thin Client vendors. That may change, but I'm not sure that it will. So you'll need probably a Windows 10 device or Mac OS device to connect to that and make use of it. And lastly, a little bit of a negative. This is the, the component that really drives that sort of five-star experience in Citrix. And that is there's no HDX, of course, in AVD, but it does have RDP over UDP, which gives you a really great experience, but it's not quite HDX. So if you are short on bandwidth or operating over, uh, over high latency links, HDX will, will give you that extra bit of experience, whereas AVD will suffer slightly. So that wraps up today's video. If you like what you've seen, please give us a comment and subscribe to our channel. Were you reflecting, were you? Yeah. An all black t-shirt next time. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> black hoodies, balaclavas. <laughs>